Hello kindergartners, welcome to your STEM challenge, float your boat. Today you're going to get to make a boat and try to see how much weight it can float. Before we do that though, I want to show you I wrapped up some tin foil and try to get all of the air out of it because air does float. And then if we drop it in, tin foil does not float. And then these are what you're going to use as weights. We have a bunch of little animals that we are you can put in your boat and we're going to see how many little animals does it take before your boat will float. So I'm going to show you, will these animals float? What do you think? Nope, he sunk. So what you're gonna do today is you're gonna take a square of tin foil and make a boat. And you can shape it however you want. And the nice thing about tin foil is that it can crunch together. So maybe you wanna make your boat like this, but you don't have to make it like mine. You can use your imagination and make any kind of boat that you want. So, here's my boat. I'm just making a simple one that looks a little bit like a canoe. I'm gonna rough up the edges a little bit on the side and on the side. What do you think? My lovely canoe. Do you think my canoe's gonna float? Let's see. Oh, look, my canoe is floating. So then, what your teacher will do is have you guys take turns and see who can hold the most animals. So your teacher will start putting the animals in and your class will count. So one, two, three, and you'll keep going until your boat sinks. Does that sound like fun? I think it is. All right, have fun kindergartners. Good luck.